As concerns surrounding the coronavirus pandemic spread across the world, there are reports of discrimination, harassment, and violence against people of Asian heritage. As the world is faced to deal with the racial ramifications of the coronavirus, BYU Hawaii, Hawaii, and the world as a whole are dealing with these issues. In an Instagram post on March 19th, Korean-American actor Daniel Day Kim, who was best known for his roles on Lost and Hawaii Five-0, announced he had tested positive for COVID-19. In his post, he assured his followers he would be fine and emphasized the importance of limiting contact between others in order to limit the spread of his virus. Here's a clip from his video. I started feeling tightness in my chest, uh, body aches, and my temperature started to rise. So he then told me to get tested. So the next day, I went to a drive through testing facility that had just opened here in Honolulu. And uh, the test was given to me by some incredibly professional and kind caregivers. The test itself was really awkward and a little painful because they shove a huge swab into your nose and into your throat. But uh, it was worth it um, because uh, of what I found out. I guess it's worth mentioning at this point that uh, that was the only time I left my house since arriving back in Hawaii. Um, I self-isolated the entire time, uh, and even though I was with my family, I was in an entirely separate part of the house. At the end of his post, Kim touched on the subject of discrimination, where he called an end for prejudice, against, for prejudice and senseless violence against Asian people. And one last very important thing. Please, please stop the prejudice and senseless violence against Asian people. Randomly beating elderly, sometimes homeless Asian Americans is cowardly, heartbreaking, and it's inexcusable. Yes, I'm Asian. And yes, I have coronavirus, but I did not get it from China. I got it in America, in New York City. And despite what certain political leaders want to call it, I don't consider the place where it's from as important as the people who are sick and dying. If I did, I would call this thing the New York virus, but that would be silly, right? Anyway, the point is the name calling gets us nowhere. When people are ill, what matters most is how best to take care of ourselves and one another. A BYU Hawaii student from China who wished to be anonymous out of fear of increased harassment on social media, said she was harassed by someone online, blaming her and China as a whole for the coronavirus pandemic. She posted about it on Facebook in a now-deleted uh, status update, where she explained that the person had harassed her and told her all sorts of negative things about herself and the Chinese government. In an interview, she said, he was also talking about how back in 2013, SARS had a big impact on the world, and that's something that started in China. Now coronavirus has started again, he said. You Chinese people didn't learn anything from it. Since the coronavirus pandemic, Ivan Tang, a junior from Hong Kong, majoring in computer science, feels as though he is watched more closely by others. I notice when Asian people cough, people will look at them. They will be aware of it. It's kind of crazy. Racial stereotypes have always existed, said Tang, but right now there is one more stereotype, the Wuhan China virus. He said he expects things to get worse and for more people to be concerned as the number of confirmed cases in the United States rises. BYU Hawaii is not the only place in Hawaii where people of Asian descent have felt the effects and fears of the coronavirus. In an article published by Hawaii News on February 15th, Rick Daysog reported foot traffic in Honolulu's Chinatown had plunged 30% in the wake of the recent coronavirus scare. In the same article, Victor Lim of the United States Chinese Society of Hawaii said, A lot of phobia, misunderstanding, and not knowing what is really going on is causing a lot of apprehension. CNN featured an article on March 5th detailing 
a racially aggravated assault, where suspects targeted a Singapore man of Chinese ethnicity in central London. According to, according to the London police, the man, Jonathan Mock, was kicked, punched, and sustained serious injuries to the face due to the attack. He shouted, um, I don't want your coronavirus in my country. And he swung a punch at me and that was when like, my nose uh, started bleeding really badly and the, basically the whole street was filled with my blood. I just couldn't understand why people would target another person simply because of their skin colour. It, it just doesn't make sense at all. When people see Asians wearing face masks, they automatically assume that they're ill. Um, people get shouted at on the tube for wearing face masks, which is completely ridiculous because they're trying to protect themselves and trying to protect you as well. I'm really, I've really been blind to many of these uh, subtle, racist, subtle racism issues in Singapore and coming out here, living here and experiencing this, I realised that this is such, actually such a serious problem that has plagued us for a very long time and we actually need to do something about it. ABC News highlighted instances of Asian Americans facing discrimination and harassment in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. As COVID-19 spreads across the United States, so does an alarming rise in hate crimes within Asian American communities. Why did they do that to this car? And it just, my heart just sunk. This car vandalized in California. The language too disturbing to show you. And the Chandy family is devastated. Anna in tears, forced to explain to her child what the racial slurs mean. Why are they being racist to us? We don't even have the coronavirus. And then there's this video. The video, horrifying. An Asian American minding his own business as a total stranger berates him before spraying him with Febreze. The CDC also weighing in now, saying that being of Asian descent does not increase the chance of getting or spreading COVID-19. So I'm breathing this and I'm breathing everything that they bring to our country, you feel And that's a pandemic. But many Asian Americans are increasingly reporting that they're being singled out. If you're from China, I need to know. I think this is kind of unprecedented. This is not just affecting Chinatown here, it's affecting Chinatown in North America and globally. From foot traffic to small businesses, Chinatowns and Asian American communities across the country severely impacted in the face of COVID-19. I think there's a, a, a great deal of misplaced fear directed at the Asian community, which is very, very unfortunate because this disease is not ethnic centric. It's hard and business owners trying to figure out how they'll make ends meet. Definitely not what I am used to as I've come through here uh, throughout the years. Foot traffic definitely low. Even the friendship archway, the Chinese friendship archway behind me, not lit up like it usually is. I had a chance to talk with uh, workers within the hotels here, the restaurants, uh, all telling me that business is down. And I went into a little local uh, Chinese gift shop and uh, I asked how, how business was there as well. And she said it hasn't been as good as normal. So I bought a hanging fortune from her. This one representing, thought it was pretty apropos, good health. Another article from CNN published on February 21st detailed several instances of American Asians being targets of racially motivated attacks. One of these attacks listed occurred in New York, in which an Asian American woman was hit by a man after being called diseased. California Senator Dianne Feinstein issued a statement in relation to the increased racism shown towards people of Asian descent. We've also seen a rise in racism towards Asian Americans because the virus is, so is associated with China. This is inconscionable and is not the American way.